JD Cap 26 here. Just do the tips and repairs, and we're at the bench again, the hobby bench. So I hope you guys are tuning in and in anticipation of what we're gonna make. And today we're gonna make Illuminators Dracula, and uh, we're not gonna keep it in the Illuminators guys. We're gonna put a base paint on it. So let's get started with this. You know, with these kits, I remember years ago. You can find little places you can open these up and, you know, like the corner here. And there's a little, you'll be able to get your nail in here. You used to be digging like this to open it. No big deal. Let's not ruin the box. Pretty, pretty well uh, sealed. These kits you can find a lot, you know, online, and they're a good value, really, um, to make a model. Put this over here, and take the bags out. And it's got the small instructions. They're not the big instructions, so like that. Put that in the box. Let's open up a bag here and separate some parts. Okay, here's the base. Here's the base. This is Dracula. And some parts are already off the spews already, which is really common with these kits. Okay, here's the part of the tree. The tree goes over there with the base. And here's the cape. The head is off already. And part of the cape. The cape is a is the tough part on these. Not too easy to not too easy to do. Um, Gotta glue it on there. Here's a, some bats and some spiders. Some other stuff here. Which it just falls, you know, it's just part of the kit that just falls off the spews. So we're gonna need this part right here when he put his head on. An arm. Shoe. Look at every spew. Okay, so these are numbered, some of these. These are just little things that go in grass. We'll put that over there. This is part of the part of the tree which is goes over there. Hope you can see that. Another leg. Some more arms. Here's the hands. There's a bat. We'll put a bat, the bat over here. I have a little, I have a little thing over here to for parts that are that are loose that you're gonna put on later on. Like here's another tree, part of the tree, put that over there. There's the emphasis, the this cape. Ugh, that cape, so tough to do. Let me tell you, it's not easy to do. Here's some more little grasses you want to put on. So I'll put them over in that. Over here. And the shoes, and it's pretty well empty. And uh, the spew cutters here. Gunnum spew cutters. Yeah, I use Gunnum. Finally uh, got up here. Cut some of these uh, parts off.
check the spew, see if there's anything on there. And if there's not anything on there, just put it in your bucket to the side of you. Let's get the glue out here. I use the uh, Gorilla Glue. Hopefully that's open. And let's see if we can match up some of these shoes here. Uh, that looks like a match. You know, very hard to see uh, the holes to uh, put them together. You really have to look because of the, the way the plastic's glowing here. As soon as you get it together, just put it down. Look for the other shoe. There's the other shoe right here. Make sure you um, know the left from the right when you put them on. So you're going to have to look at that. So we're doing the legs now. Put a little bit on the sides here. We think they're going to separate. through this pretty quick you know putting these together that's the fun about them they don't make them too complicated some models can be very complicated you know and uh, like some tank models such um, they're very complicated oops they put it down and it came apart again drop in here lay it down your uh your woody call to dry and as i remember don't forget <clears throat> this model a lot of models have the teeth okay so there are the teeth right there okay right there right there there's the teeth Let me show this to you okay and uh, that goes in the head so you have to put the teeth in and you just put a drop of glue in there And once you put it in there, you know, try to keep it in there. See the bottoms. It's kind of difficult to do. This is the most difficult part is to this model is putting the teeth in. And get a pair of tweezers here.
my daughter. Be here all day trying to get the teeth in. A lot of people just leave them out. Like that. And once you get them in, they look at them. Okay, pretty good. You drop some glue in there. Let it get, let it get in there and just dry a little bit. Put this, you know, you put that off to the side. Let the teeth dry a little bit, and the other part of the head put over here. And so we get the uh, the arms going here, and uh, <clears throat> match the arms up. That's that's not a match. This is a match. Yeah. So I tend to work close sometimes and I'm not in the camera. I'm sorry about that guys and girls. As soon as you get it together, drop it down on your on your table, and let it dry. We're looking for the little holes here. See the little holes here? That's what we're dropping the glue in. Putting a little dot of glue inside the holes and along. We put it along this edge here. As soon as you get it together, put it down on the table. You want to try to avoid um, what we call uh, glue marks. The glue marks really um, mess up the whole model. You know. So now we got to put these two together. His torso. Okay. So we've got an edge here to put glue all around. So we're going to do a dot here on the bottom, a dot there, and a dot there, and then we're going to put the two together. You want to make sure that it's even, the waist is even, like that, okay? Just put it down and let it dry. <clears throat> Once it dries, you can go in there and stick a little bit more, a dot of glue in there to um, get it to um, be more secure. And we're cutting the tree off here. And look on that spew, and there's nothing on that spew. So he got over there. And yeah, we got a piece of the let's see, I think we got a piece of a tree over here. Goes in here. So you look for the dots. The tree is a tough one too. Um like I said, it's hard, really hard to see where you wanna put the glue in the glue in, in the holes like and once you see it you got it let's see you want to snap that's that's called um, snapping um, when it does that it kind of goes Over one, uh, you know, over one each other, over each other like that, you know. We 
very good. We'll get one of these clamps. Just because we have right here a separation, so we drop some glue in there. Okay. And we take these and we put the, the two together and just set it over there for now. And I think we can get back to the head here and put the head back together. Okay. It'd be neat to have this whole series um, in illuminators, you know. Um, you could probably find all of them online and uh, have the series. But I mean, you know, I like to paint, so. We're just going to keep it, you going to use this to, to paint it, you know, um, put it down, paint it together. <clears throat> the trees here, trees there. Ugh, I don't even want to look at that cape. Pain in the butt. This looks pretty good. Now let's see if we can find left and right shoe. That looks like to be the right shoe. So you want to put glue along this edge right here. Right there. And snap it in. Just a little bit. If you go heavy on the glue, it'll take longer to, uh, to dry. But if you just put a little bit, and this is really good glue, so I mean, you're not gonna, you're not gonna, if you, a tiny bit's gonna go a long way, just a dot, you know, and it'll, it'll hold it in there, you know. Of course, seeing the glue um, is a tough part, is tough. Um, On this plastic, it's hard to see the, the glue. You want to see what it looks like. It's clear. And see how, you know, that doesn't want to stay in there. It's a little loose. It may, it may glue in there, in there just after all. <clears throat> this is on here. And uh, let's put the hands on the arms. That'd be just a lot easier to do. So this is the uh, this is one arm. So you want this one right here. So let's put some glue on there. Make sure you have it in the right orientation because it, it goes in there like that. Don't put the thing up. So put it down like this. You know. That one's not, that one's easy to do. That one went in. It's, it's always this left one. 
The left one is tough. Kind of like I have to <clears throat> dribble some glue in there and just let it set. Let it, let it just go down, drip down, and then let it set. You can set it up against something like that. Set it up against that, like that. Of course, there is a, um, I'm not talking loud enough, I apologize, but I'll try to boost the volume up. Um, there's, on the spew here, there's a, uh, uh, bow tie. And everybody's like, oh, how does the bow tie go on? And, and it only go, you know, does it go on this way or does it go on this way? It goes on this way. So the bow tie goes around his neck. Okay, you can just slip it on it, pressure fit it on his neck like that. Okay. And he's still kind of wet. So let's uh, get some of these bats off of here. Spew. Come on, bucket over there. We got a spider. See the spider? Take the spider off and put him in the bucket. There's a little piece right here, and I don't know if it's a part or not. Um, it, it's, see, does it have a number? I don't know, it just looks like a, a piece of something or other. It, it looks like, it definitely looks like a part. Probably, oh, that's the spider's back. That's what it is. That's the spider's back. It goes on there. Uh, so we look on the spew, and really there's nothing left. There's a part here it's saying it's number 13. We'll have to, let's put the spew aside and, and uh, see if we can find where that goes. These are just little things that go. Little tufts of um, grass that go on the, the base. You just fill those in. Wow, look at that. There's some bubbles in this spew. When they, when they did the parts, the bubble, there's some bubbles. I've never seen that. When they pump the uh, the plastic in, see the bubbles? See those? It's pretty cool. I've never seen that. I've been doing models for a pretty long time. <laughs> so let's put his let's put his arm on. Hopefully we can do that. Sometimes you think, well, how am I going to get in there to detail paint? You will. You know, you got a small enough brush, you can get in there and detail paint. And, you know, see, so get that arm on it. And I think this other one, hopefully, hopefully, you can get this other one on. And we got to put glue right there. So. Put a dot of glue there. Put the glue down. And it pops in there like that. That's a good sign. When it pops in there, it's like, wow, great. Now it's going to stay together. You know? Except this right here. Got to put a dot of glue here because it's separating. And let that weld 
bolt together like so so uh, I'm gonna try to speed this video up because I know it's pretty long and the trees all ready to be put together it's pretty long and you may hear my voice in a Mickey Mouse type of uh, thing so This tree may, this tree's gonna need some puttying, I think. So, I have to do that. Alrighty, so let's bring him over. Uh, and, uh, put his head on. Let's see if we got that. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can put his head on here. And then again, I may not speed it up. You'll have to listen to me. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's the only way you're going to learn. Put his head on. And I got to fix his, his bow tie is not straight. There we go. together and now we have to put his waist on so there's marks here and here so let's it goes one into the other so let's put a dot of glue there a dot of glue here and see if we can snap these two together See, I, it's got, and there goes, and there goes his head, shoot, trying to do too much at one, too much at the same time. I don't think we're even going to get his cape on at this point. I really don't think we're going to get his cape on. I'll be very surprised. This, oh, that's like the hardest part, you know, to do on any of these is the cape. Let's, let's 
Oop. There goes his arm. Shit. There goes his head. This is very comical, isn't it? I'm gonna have to leave him. I'm gonna have to leave him to this. There goes his head again. I'm gonna have to leave him to the side here. Like that. And let it just dry. I'm not gonna be gluing anything together. In a while here, so I'll let that dry and we'll catch you in a little well, while. Well, we got Dracula all together here, and that's what he looks like in the neon, green neon. And uh, that's the uh, video for today. Um, we'll be painting this next. And uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, ring the little notification bell. We do have repairs on my channel, so search in the little magnification. Uh, area you can hit that and search for repairs on lawnmowers um, snow blowers all kinds of things and we also have a um, cooking channel you can watch so go over to the cooking channel cooking with uh, JD cap 26 or Peter and uh, thanks for watching have a great day